Everybody's favorite. Everyone's good old buddy ad. And oh boy, it's Fusion coming at you tomorrow. The first Fusion in Linden, New Jersey. You can register right now at smash.gg slash fusion with singles and doubles brought to you by Sig Melee and Square One with powered by the Collision Series. Uh, you can come to the venue at 5.30, get to it really easily thanks to train, the Linden train station being really close. And also, there is Concrete Throwdown, the last Sunday of every month. From 2 to 8.30, we run Smash Ultimate and Smash Melee, and as of recently, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So you can come to Manhattan, easy, it's an easy ride into New York, New York Penn Station, brought to you by Nerds, Geeks, and Gamers. And we also got DNA, a tournament I've been going for probably upwards of a year now. Uh, it is uh, every Thursday, uh, 6.30 squad strike, 7.30 signals, right off the Birkin Turnpike. There's a lot of great food around, in the, very close to the venue. There's a uh, there is McDonald's, but there's also like a really great Spanish, uh, Spanish re restaurant, as well as run by the Collision Team. RJ's there, Chris is there, go there. All right, and of course, every Wednesday, if you can't make it Monday, if you can't go to the Monday Weekly, the Tuesday Weekly, the Thursday Weekly, or the Friday Weekly, there's a Wednesday Weekly just for you. It's powered by the House of 3000 on twitch.tv slash House of 3000. Xeno Weeklies, every Wednesday in 21 Ludwell. All right, and Fix My Six, uh, Sinjio, you can find him on, on Twitter, at Sinjio uh, underscore. Uh, he's always at Fusion, so... Uh, he was also yes, uh, yesterday at Fireside. He does a very good job of controller mods. He, is very, he works very quickly, and his prices are pretty affordable. The premier controller guy yeah. in, in Tri-State. Also, a uh, reminder that we this event is sponsored by Game Fuel, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner. That's what we've been drinking and what yeah. I almost choked on, but... This uh, Game Fuel has sponsored NJIT Esports, and uh, they've come through with their product as we get into Grand Finals starting right now. Sorry, Stu, I took your line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good stuff on Leon knowing the uh, neutral tech there because Colmar uh, wanted to charge, uh, charge Hydrant, so had he tech hold away, he would have just been able to, to throw out the orange and uh, get the easy tech chase. And we see Hip, uh, not, sorry, Hippo Knight's his Twitter, uh, yeah. but Komar with a change of tag, just a fair. The forward here and some of the back here, that's going to be huge for Leon. Because, like, Bowser, if you don't kill him when you have the chance to kill him. I don't think that backer would have killed. Uh, back strong backer would have killed there. Especially with how fresh it is. True, 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 true. But he uses his own uh, down air and melon to do a whole lot of shield damage. Uh, okay, just a gets little. Gets the landing note. Yeah. Wow, what That's, a trap. You could tell, because he waited so long, uh, Komar realized that he was going to wait and, and do a neutral getup, so that S smash and the hydrant covered all of that. Mm -hmm. Alright, doesn't quite get the tech chase on the jab. It's not a high net percent, but still a good, uh, good 35% uh, life lead. Komar is playing so well. Yeah. Like going all the way through losers. Mm -hmm. but. Like, like, taking out Christmas among CONCON uh, Con and a bunch of other, like... Ma uh, Maverick Hunter? Play. Yeah, Maverick Hunter. That, that was, like, really surprising, because Maverick Hunter's been playing quite hot as of late. And, it keep, and the, the hits keep coming as the fourth throw isn't, isn't enough to take it. But Bowser, the king of, one of the kings of comebacks, among the, as well as the king of Koopas, because yeah. that was a wild grab. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't stop coming. It's definitely you just gotta one, hit the ground running. Definitely one of the best things I like uh, that Leon does more than a lot of other Bowsers is he gets the aerial side bees aggressively more mm -hmm. than any other Bowser that I have uh, I've cared to watch. He's so good at knowing just like because they made the hitbox so much smaller than from Smash Four, but like uh, he's so good at knowing just just what part of the hand uh, is where the where the grab box is. Yeah, and he can do it on reaction as well mm -hmm. thanks to it being frame six. Yeah. So, so it, frame six, right? Yeah, there's actually there's a Bowser main whose tag is frame six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now we know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm good. I'm good friends with the person. As the okay, just doing the doing the fall on down throw. As we see the percent get really evened up, Bowser is wow. at the invulnerable shield. But he does have Leon at 106, so Leon is the comeback master. But Komar is the iron wall. Like it's gonna get 10 feet higher real quick. And he tried for the mix-up, expecting the air dodge uh, down yeah. and in, but he only came, only went down in order to go to ledge. Yeah. But like, because of the way he angled it, he just reset the situation rather than getting punished for going like for a really risky angle. Like if you went off stage with that, it's like Leon could have ledge trapped him. Leon, if, when Leon has you on ledge, it's not a fun time. It isn't. It doesn't matter who you are. You're, fun times are not to be had. 
and a lot of a lot of characters that have an easy time getting off ledge is because they usually have like an aerial that crosses up or like a, some a really quick uh, a, a, a really quick option to go high but Bowser kind of negates all of that thanks to a really big both fair out of shield and the, the good, out of shield, and yeah. the great drift on up the out of shield so mm -hmm. Wow, throws it towards him. Why the trap? This man is playing four-dimensional chess. He played catch with himself and then springed away, and that was so clean. <laughs> that, is, that is going, that's one for the highlight, uh, for yeah, the, the, uh, the history books. <clears throat> clip that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the, the back air not coming out, and the Colmar actually lands a falling up air, with, but only he, getting Leon's 12. like, I don't care if you can play for catch up yourself. I'm going to forward tilt you with my big meaty fist. Hey, Christmas, this is how you two frame. <laughs> 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 uh, how active is Bowser's F tilt? Because I think it's active for three or four frames. That like, makes, don't that quote makes me sense. on that. Because <laughs> there's gonna be like someone in, in the in the chat like, well, actually, it's active for seven frames. Hey man, uh, keep an eye on that guy for us, Kelvin, and then ban him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going to FD as the counter pick. Uh, Komar, Komar, I like how Komar really adjusts his stage pick depending on character and depending on situation. And uh, FD sounds pretty good for playing against Bowser because they're trying to set up that wall. But oh my god, they almost killed. Yeah. Uh, Bowser's back air. Pretty, yeah, this is looking a lot strong. different from the start of game one where like he was kind of cooking and now ba uh, Leon's like, no, 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 I know what you're, I know what you're all about. Because Leon's definitely played a lot versus Inji, a lot for versus like these really, really high level players. I mean, he took a, he, what was it, run it back against uh, T, that's T E A, the yeah. uh, Japanese Pac Man phenom. Mm -hmm. Wow, he like, snagged wow. him. He, he just, <laughs> like, he just no, took you, the kids. You can't. <laughs> he took the kids and, and he, he got child support and he just left. He left with the stock and took a little bit extra. Yeah. 34% a lot. By itself, mm -hmm. like doesn't quite break the hydrant. All right, that was that was quite the interaction. Yeah, the spring negates, um, I'll say, all and any animation that you are doing when going into it. Yeah. Which is why uh, a lot of times in uh, when Pac-Man after Pac-Man finishes a dash attack, since it has no lag, and you expect to, people to chase after him as that fair swipes him to the death, and yeah. we enter the void. This is quite surprising because this is uh, Colmar's like. Uh, Counter pick, but I feel like Leon, without, without having the wall of platforms for Komar to hide behind, it's actually kind of harder. Uh, it's, it's a lot easier for Leon to get in. Yeah, but you don't want to take Bowser to Smash Floor Battlefield either because of the, the oh, stage. He, try, he so tries to back throw into his own high drain, but too much per, uh, percent on that because that lower percent that does work, but once you're at too high percent, the the higher knockback of the back uh, back throw is going to take precedence. The roll read from uh, from Colmar coming out as he sets up another trap, but he waits out the neutral get up, but the multi hit not getting wow. the final one. What a safe shield trap. And he has to wait for the hydrant to leave, and so yeah. he only came down. He only came back with the down air. A lot of these hydrant le these hydrant ledge trapping options that have been followed up by down air, which. Like, the last thing you want to be with Pac-Man is linear, given yeah. the, the amount of uh, tools the character has. What a great outspacing of the... Just going directly around that hydrant and hitting him with a back air, which that does, like, 20-something 20, 20 percent. Catching him with the fire breath, but the sweet spot yeah. back air killing at that percent. And game two goes decisively to Leon with a JV free stock. You can see uh, growls and then does a big old grin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, like... Without the without the wall of the platforms, like Komar just like I can't yeah. keep you out. I, I really expected the the FD uh, not going back to FD. Uh, I man, like it's really hard with this stage list. Like maybe you I don't know what he banned. Yeah. But maybe because you only go town because you you die off yeah. this. Town has like really small side blast, so you die early there. And you don't get you a Nova because it just has small blast. Now. And then like PS2, he kind of lost like, a couple times. Yeah, That's why I, I wish there was like a little bit more stage variety. Yeah, no there's really no counter picks in general. <laughs> yeah, characters such as Bowser were like, the one counter pick that he does have is FD, but, you like, know, that don't Leon really... didn't care. He just kind of, he, he was he charged forward. That's a lot of things when it came to Bowser in this game. Like, Leon just kind of wrote the book on and changed everyone's minds of yeah. like, hey, wait, wait a minute, Bowser's like actually uh, the best heavy by far, despite the, the memes of Ganon. Yeah. 
Bowser just did everything Ganon did, but faster and better. Mm -hmm. Given how he is like a better dash speed than yeah, like, he's he's so fast in this game. <laughs> and he, his air speed isn't bad either, which is like I feel like it's like a major part of what makes him good is that he has good air speed on top of good ground speed. Yeah, and the the flame breath is what interrupted the the pellet, which forced Komar to uh, commit to the uppy at a un unwanted distance. Down throw? Uh, no, just back throw. Yeah. I want to see like a kind of. Wow! Okay. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he takes the hit, but counter hits with his own hydrant. Great roll read on the down smash. At, he has him at 145, so back throw. One more hit, back throw will start killing. Oh, they're so heavy. It's it might like, even start killing now. It's already hard for Pac-Man to kill, but... Yeah. Like, See, on reaction, up B. You take, you take like 12% from that, and you uh, and you put it in a bad position. Just, does it miss him put air dodge? Now he's stuck in ledge. Just with the fire, fire breath, breath, as they eventually just sealed folks. Yeah. Uh, tries to use the, uh, the water from the hydrant. Uh, the high hydrant goes away right before you really can make good use out of it. Hits him with the the weak hit box and back here. Yeah, you can't you can't get really oh, okay. The the hydrant still uh, or the bell is still caught. It's active yeah. forever, but you really can't get overzealous here because mm -hmm. like you're waiting for so long to get to kill Bowser. Uh, yeah, it's a falling hitbox. If you waited just for a little bit, the uh, the rise is kind of hard to challenge, but the fall yeah. is free. Mm -hmm. Free fall, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm free, free falling. But you went like up, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a neat little mix up, but. Uh, up. All right, trying to go for the up tilt on the platform. Yeah. Very interesting. There is a full, uh, a full Pac-Man combo that involves uh, up throw, falling up air, then up tilt on the platform, which lets you get a uh, another up air. Yeah. And, and or more. And then and then you just Pac-Man lands. Up here at low percent, it's like you can't do anything from that. Yeah. It's a hard hit. It's a hard move to hit because it kind of has like a, some startup lag. But if you do hit it, it does a lot. Great tech change oh. situation, but doesn't right. catch the tech in and die. That was for great it. Uh, counter di from Colmar, but he's still gonna die because that move just killed. <laughs> now 60% and and climbing, but how hard, how high will it climb is the answer. Because yeah. he'd like to take the stock around now, but. We might be sitting here for another like hundred percent or so, and to only the four, the four dark grab being a huge part of Leon's gameplay. Yeah, Komar is like being consistent with his Pac-Man things, but it's mm -hmm. like, it, but it just kind of comes down to his he losing losing a little bit of kill setups and a little bit of time, a, a lot of time. But that'll be the that'll be the stock there. Finally falling into the spring trap. You know, landing there, but then he springs away. But uh, Leon, Leon uh, follows his DI away and is able to catch him for it. Oh, that drift on the uppie is so good. Leon is playing his playing his heart out right now. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe he's just like. Oh, you know, gets the up air. Tries to do the double up air for percent, and he dies off the top to the down air. No. Oh, that's very tragic. unfortunate way to, to die. Granted, <laughs> that was the that was. He used the, the down air a lot about a god in his Christmas, and it is infamous. But wow, is that down air uh, really, really strong? And it was the first time he, the first time it has successfully worked that set. So mm -hmm. not something that Komar was looking out for as he tried to build damage and gain back any semblance of a lead. Yeah, like after that last hit scenario in game one, just all the momentum was it uh, was in um Leon. Yeah, Leon, Leon's favor. Like he, yeah. it, the ball was in his court. And he took it, made a, made him take him to battlefield. So really, really strong. What a good tournament, guys. Oh boy, yeah, that was, was it. It was an honor uh, commentating with you guys. Not kind of commentating with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you chimed in when necessary, and <laughs> I appreciated it. Yeah, yeah, it was great, guys. <laughs> but this was our first stream tournament. Ooh. It went pretty dang well, to be honest. And number um, two is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And number two is tomorrow. And as a matter of fact, oh we boy. got a little ad we can run. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> But yeah, guys, make sure to come out to Fusion tomorrow. It's going to be the first ever Fusion. It's an NJ Premier event. It's taking over what Spectrum left off of. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be real nice. It's located in Linden, New Jersey. Every Monday, make sure to remember that every Monday, smash.gg forward slash Fusion. We have Ultimate and Melee, and we have the best orgs in the business, baby. Tasty yeah. Gaming, Square One, Collision, and Sig Melee. Make sure to come out, guys. All right, and uh, of course, every Sunday, uh, the last Sunday of every month, Concrete Throwdown hosts an event 
in New York, in Manhattan, the heart of the city, and you can come out and play and check out some Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and some Super Smash Brothers Melee, as well as some Dragon Ball Fighter Z. It offers a lot of different variety. Mm -hmm. All right, so DNA, as I've been saying, is what a great tournament! It's uh, it's just off the Burger King Tournament Bike every Thursday, 6:30 at uh, Squad Strike, 7:30 singles. It's run by RJ and the Collision Team. Very nice venue. There's food, literally like a good two, like two three minute walk uh, away from uh, away from the venue. Um, it's very well heated. The, you get nice, nice gamer chairs that to sit in, it's not like folding chairs like most venues. <laughs> <laughs> the little the little things of DNA, but we got the big one, the big one to Tri-State for the longest time. Xeno Weeklies hosted at Xeno Zero every Wednesday in downtown in New York in Chinatown. So you get some nice Chinese food and you can check out their all updates in. Uh, uh, Twitch uh, it twitch.tv slash house of 3000 and twitter.com slash house of 3000 come out every Wednesday all right and fix my sticks that uh, that is Sinjio's um, company he does uh, he does controller mods very very well uh, easy to work with very affordable he does great work uh, he does um he does bu button remappings he does uh, he can even customize your controllers you can put in new buttons he can do uh, snapback mods he is he is the definitive controller modder and that's us. That's well. That's it for the ads, and that's it for the tournament. Mm -hmm. A great show out. A lot of premier talent. This monthly is becoming a, like a whole lot better as as it's gone, getting more and more additions. This was the last one of the current NGIT semester, so there will not be one. There might be one in January, but maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I think the first one's going to be in February. Right. I'm going to uh, SDB. I'll be helping run run that. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, because uh, next uh, next year I will be the head of uh, Smash. So. But you can check that out, and you can check out this stream on Fusion tomorrow. So make sure to tune in, and we'll catch you all later. Good night, everybody.